In this open-ended question on a three states of matter, Jean has prepared a container which has a capacity of 200 cm cube for an experiment. She filled it with 120 cm cube of water, as shown below. She then added two metal cubes, each with a volume of 30 cm cube into the container. Don't forget to annotate. All right, over here I have a similar experiment. So you can see this is a volume of 200. Okay, and then I'm going to add in the solids, which is the metal weights. Okay, and you can see. What happens? Okay, over here you can see that the volume of water has actually increased. Let me see. Okay, uh, let's put it straight. All right. So it is more than 200 now. All right. So what does this tell you? Remember from the previous slide, we talked about the properties of matter? Yes. So if you remember, all right, solid and liquids both have definite volume and cannot be compressed. All right, let's continue the question. Jean noticed that the water level has increased and she wanted to add another metal cube of 30 cm cube into the container without the water overflowing. Is that possible? Let's take a look. All right, if you add 120 cm cube of water plus three times of the metal cube, which is 30 cm cube each, that will give us a total of 210 cm cube. Bear in mind, she only has 200 cm cube of capacity in the container. So over here, will she be able to do so? You need to answer with the ABC method, answer with the choice, no, obviously not. Okay, back up with evidence. All right, you can see that as the total volume would exceed 200 cm cube, as such, some water will overflow. All right, last but not least, confirming the concept. All right, both the metal cubes and water have definite volume and thus cannot be compressed. All right, hope you got it correct.